Country's restaurant is naming dozens of locations possibly hit by a massive data breach. The list includes 20 restaurants in Houston and several in the Woodlands, Katy, Galveston, and Kima. And that is just a fraction of the list. We're running the whole thing at the bottom of your screen there. Channel 2's Jake Reiner is live at one of the affected locations in Southwest Houston. And Jake, what is the company telling people to do if they've been affected by this? Well, there's a couple things you can do, but the main thing that they stress is that you check your bank statements as often as possible to look for any suspicious activity. Obviously, if there is, you might want to cancel your credit card and figure that out with your bank. But as you mentioned, I am at one of these locations here at the Saltgrass Steakhouse south on the, off the Southwest Freeway. Among a number of places throughout the entire Houston market that have been affected. Here's a breakdown of all the places affected in the Houston metro area. 13 locations in Kima, 6 in the Woodlands, 4 in Galveston, and 20 in Houston alone. That's where we find the Saltgrass Steakhouse and Carolyn Conklin. Most places are not even wanting cash anymore, which doesn't make much sense. So we're kind of set up. This all started at the beginning of December. People buying legit meals at Landry's locations, but then unauthorized payments on those same cards elsewhere. Landry says it's working to get to the bottom of it, but Conklin hasn't been taking any chances for a while now. I have a small card with a small balance, and that's the one that I use at places. So that if that's the one that gets hacked or whatever, it's a small amount and it's not going to be detrimental to me. Too bad. Certainly some good tips there from Carolyn. If you want to get a good look at all the locations that uh, have been affected by this security breach, go to our website at clicktohouston.com. We have the full list for you up there right now. For now, we're live in Southwest Houston. Jake Reiner, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you.